welcome uh, and uh, so good to have you tune in with us and those that will be uh, participating in tonight's service. So, so glad that uh, you could make the time and take the time to uh, join in with us. So from Shannon and me and uh, our household, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. It's been a trying year, but um, uh, we trust and pray that, that God will keep you in his peace and he will guide your hearts and your and your lives and protect us and continue to walk with us through these days and weeks and months ahead and uh, and we will all be together eventually. Luke 2, 1 to 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the Ro entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Well, it's here. The day that uh, we've been waiting for has finally come. And uh, the question, I guess, for all of us is, how has it come into our lives and into our hearts? Uh, has the advent of Christmas been more about turmoil and what is uncertain or fearful, or, it, or is it overflowing with peace? You know, after traveling nearly 100 miles over the length of maybe a week on the brink of delivering a baby, think about Mary. Mary could have been far less than peaceful in her own life. And add to that the disappointment of uh, not finding an available bed and breakfast uh, on their arrival and ending up in an animal housing instead. The couple could have been feeling just a little bit anxious. However, almost every parent could tell you that there's something that is just unexplainable about the birth of your first child. As anxious and stressful as the hours that lead up to the birth might be, the moments after it are almost magical and except for in extreme cases, peaceful, at least from my perspective. And by the time the shepherds arrived on the scene, think about it, Mary was already pondering and treasuring things in her heart. There were no gifts from the Magi yet, no promise of prosperity, or even a room for the night. But there was something about the baby and the promise, maybe more than most, that brought peace and brought opportunity to savor every moment, treasuring each one in her heart. This Christmas, we pray that we won't just treasure gifts and the things in the wrapping paper. Uh, we hope that 
instead of the mere the meal and the decorations that we appreciate the goodness of Christ the beauty of his sacrifice the majesty of his father and the power of his spirit we pray that we ponder his promises bestow his blessings savor his salvation and treasure his tranquility as we learn to allow his holy spirit to help us live in his perfect heavenly peace as we light our last advent candle of the season the christ candle let's pray together father in these moments we want to focus our attention upon the true reason that we would gather in the first place or we would celebrate in the first place it's to 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 really gather with thankful hearts and with hearts that are filled with wonder the wonder of it all how you came jesus out of love you stepped down from heaven and you came to earth to be among us to be god with us to be our everlasting father and our prince of peace lord we thank you that ultimately you came to become the sacrifice once and for all for sin and that by faith we can receive it and believe it and accept it as true for ourselves we want to live in that kind of peace so it's in jesus name that we pray and we thank you for all these things amen god bless you have a wonderful christmas
what a wonderful time of year and what a blessing to be able to share with you today. Although we wish we could celebrate Jesus' birth together in person, we are so blessed to have the technology that will allow us to do so, just in a different way. This year, we have asked each family to contribute in their own special way, some in song, some in instrumental number, some in verse, some with just a Merry Christmas, and some we celebrate with as babies take their first steps, some ring their first Christmas bells, all to glorify him whose birth we celebrate. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Thank you for joining us today and Merry Christmas. Be glad that you are with, you are watching and welcome you today. So listen very carefully to what I have to say. Our Father up in heaven of the whole world so he sent his dear baby Jesus his love to show. A kind and loving mother, a baby upon hay, shepherds and shiny angels, all tell of Christmas Day. A dear little baby, a tiny sweet stranger, was born long ago in a Bethlehem manger. The sky was a shine, the angels so bright, saying glory to God that first Christmas night. I think today the angels still sing as we to the Savior our loving hearts bring. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Come here. Come and get the ball. Come and get the ball. Oh, you gonna get mommy's phone? No, you have to stand up. You have to walk to it, baby. Go get it. Go, Go get, get it. it. Oh, my, oh God. my gosh. Good job. Can you wave? You wave. Say, I'm a big walker, girl. <laughs> okay, can you jingle your bell, Avery? Jingle your bell, yeah. Say Merry Christmas. This is me, Lexi. I lost two teeth. I love you. True. I hope I get this. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. And you show them your Christmas craft? Christmas craft. Wow. Everly. Everly. Hi. <laughs> Can you say Merry Christmas from Hudson? Merry Christmas, Hudson. <laughs>
Christmas story. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, because the story of a baby that most of you should know. His daddy's name was Joseph, and Mary was his mom. This babe was very special. He was God's only son. Some angels came from heaven, and they began to sing. To the shepherds in the fields below, glad tidings do we bring. A bright star lit the heavens to light the Magi's way to the baby in the manger who was born on Christmas Day. And all who gathered round him rejoiced and praised his birth. The babe, for the babe, the king named Jesus is our savior here on earth. Christmas.
Merry Christmas from the Forest Powers. <laughs>
Guide us to thy 